Hi, family and friends. How are you guys doing? Let's talk about great Let's talk about God. Let's call it like how a child would. Let's talk about life. <laughs> Let's just talk. Hi, family and friends. How are you guys doing? Yay! Yes. 2021. It's a new year. It's coming with a new look, a new background, a new everything, new content. I am going to be adding more things to what we'll be talking about. I'll be talking about weddings. I'll be talking about God. I'll be talking about life, life in general. Everything and anything that concerns life, we will be talking about that. So today I made a decision to talk about what we are faced with. The whole world is faced with COVID-19. And this is a fact that we cannot run away from, guys. It's a fact that is just ravishing everyone. Actually, since the beginning of 2021, people have been dying. I'm, I'm in South Africa, so we have been losing a lot of people. And I cannot shake the feeling that I have that we have forgotten the maker. We have forgotten that there is God, I think. And please, everything that I'll be saying here is what I think. I'm not imposing it on anyone. It's just what is in my heart. And I feel I need to share this. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says that my sheep knows my voice. Are we listening to God through this difficult time? Are we listening to what he is saying to us? And in my heart, the only thing that keeps on coming back is God is saying we need to get down to prayer. God is saying we need to tell him what he wants. When the Israelites were crossing the Red Sea, they shouted at him. They called him up to come and be with them. They said, come and help us. Are we being that vulnerable to ask God to come and be with us? I talk about God, but you might have a different faith. Are you exercising that faith that you have? It could be Buddhism, it could be whatever, whatever faith that you have. Are we united to call all the forces that we have faith in for us to say, please hear us? Are we, are we really crying enough? Are we? I've lost someone very close to my heart and that's when it hit me that I don't think I prayed enough. It might have been her time to go, but I don't think I prayed enough. Let's not be taken away. Let's not be, let's not, let our attention not be taken away because of what we are going through. One other thing that the Israelites were doing were just complaining and complaining. They were forgetting to talk about God's power. They were forgetting to put on the whole armor of God, what he said we should put on. They forgot about it. And I tend to think that we are also going through the wilderness that the Israelites went through. We are going through that Red Sea that the Israelites went through. We are his sheep, but we have completely forgotten to hear his voice. Let's go back to prayer. Let's go back to our faith. Let's exercise our faith. Let's bring it down to the basics. Let's call him. Let's call him like how a child will call his or her mom to say, Mommy, I am burning. Mommy, I am dying. Let's just bring it down to prayer and let's not allow fear to ruin us or to, 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 to drive everything, every decision, everything that's around us now. I feel we are afraid. This COVID is killing everyone. It's killing even the pastors. People that we are supposed to look up to and draw strength from, they are also dying. And I feel that the devil has now won us over. And the devil is a devil of fear. And God does not, he's not, he, he, he doesn't fear anything. Why are we letting fear rule our lives, guys? We can't allow that to happen. I don't believe at the same time that God is punishing us. I don't. 
by what i'm saying i am just saying let's remember the basics let's remember that prayer your faith can win everything over let's not listen to what is going on around us let's not lean onto our own understanding but on our faith so why let's not get confused let the confusion that's going around not get us down let's not let it control us let us not let it kill the fact that we have our faith in my case my faith is god in your case your faith might be something else go back to that and yeah i hope this has helped someone else out there i hope that this is going to now revive you and make you remember that you are not alone god is with you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Mwah.